if you're over the road and the only thing you have is your semi, this is what you can do to work your quads and your glutes. So I'm gonna have one foot forward, about a good stride length away from your step of your truck. This step is a little bit lower on this semi, but I am gonna put my foot back and I can rest my foot just on that step of the semi. I'm gonna go flat footed. If you flex your foot, it doesn't feel the greatest on your ankle as you go down and then it puts pressure on that knee as well. So I'm gonna relax my foot as much as I can. I'm gonna push my butt back and I'm gonna sit back, squeeze that glute, come up nice and tall. If you have a towel in your semi or a shirt, Roll it up on the step of your truck where your ankle is going. Squeeze that glute, come up nice and tall. Come down, squeeze that glute, come up tall. So quads, glutes, a little bit of hamstring. Stay nice and tall. If you wanna get your butt more, you can lean forward slightly. If your goal is to work on losing weight, I'm gonna go with a higher rep range, say two to three sets of 15 reps. Um, if you have weights in your truck, you could hold weights in your hands. I'm not gonna demonstrate with weights. I am gonna make this the most basic type of movement you can do. So this is a lower body pushing exercise. Another one you can do for lower body that is gonna be a pushing exercise. This one is gonna be a step up. So all semis have a grab handle right here. I'm gonna put my foot on the step. As you can see, my full foot is not going on there. So what I can do instead, I'll start with this side since I'm on this side of the truck. To work the other side, you could go to the other side of your semi and use that step. But I am gonna line myself up here. I'm gonna squeeze my glute, push through my heel, and stand up nice and tall, and push my butt back, go back down. Squeeze that glute, come up nice and tall, and back down. Most of my steps are a little bit bigger, especially if you're working over the road, doing longer distance, traveling with your semi. You're pushing through that heel, squeeze that glute. You're gonna come up nice and tall and back down. Up nice and tall, back down. If I wanted to work the other side, I literally could spin around like this and use that grab handle still, squeeze that glute of the leg that's on the step, push through that heel, squeeze your glute, come up and back down. Up, back down. Again, if you're working towards losing weight, I would do a higher rep count. You could do 15 of them. If you get pain in your knees with this one, grab something out of your truck that you have or like a little step stool, whatever. And if it's only a couple inches off the ground, start with just stepping on that, coming back down, step on that, come back down. I would leave the one foot on there though to make it more challenging. A lot of people bring that foot back down. Well, then you're shutting off that quad that's working or that glute. Keep your foot up on that step, whether you have a stool or you're using a step to go into your summer. I? Okay. This will get the heart rate up. So two to three sets, 15 reps. Other exercise is a assisted squat. I am up on the top step because for one, that lower step is way too small for my feet to go onto. So I'm up on this top step. Again, make sure your grab handle is sturdy. Okay. I'm going to walk my hands down to a squat position. I'm gonna squeeze my glute and I'm gonna walk them back up. Locking those hips out at the top, squeeze your butt, come back down. Squeeze the glutes, come up nice and tall. Walk them down, squeeze your butt, come up nice and tall. Not only does this challenge balance, it challenges your trust with your truck and also your squat pattern, movement up and down. This is a lot harder than just doing a squat on the floor. I'm gonna go to upper body pull. Grab handle, again. Couple different ways you can do this. If you feel comfortable and make sure that your grab handle is not loose or wobbly or just barely hanging on, cause you will fall backwards if it is, okay? So I'm gonna use the grab handle. I'm gonna step up on the steps. This is a trust thing. The easiest, most basic pulling exercise we can do is with both hands on the grab handle. I'm gonna let myself back and I'm gonna pull myself up, okay? Now, if I wanted to make this more challenging, what I could do is open up, bring one hand back, and then row up. Bring one hand back, pinch that shoulder blade down and back of the arm on the grab handle and row up. So how it looks from the other side, I'm gonna open up, pinch this shoulder blade down and back, and I'm gonna row myself up to it. Open up, pinch down and back, come up to it. So this is basically like a one-arm row. 
To make it more challenging yet, again, make sure this is sturdy. I'm gonna come up higher. Usually these handles are a little bit longer, but with me being up higher, I feel like I can angle out a little bit more. And usually these grab handles come up a little higher. This is a different semi than long haul over the road trucking, but your guys' handle comes out quite a bit more. So you can come like this and row up. The other way you can do this, I'm gonna use some ratchet straps, okay? I'm just gonna go through the grab handle area. I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground. Make sure your ratchet straps <laughs> are strong. There's no tears in them, because you don't need to go for a ride. <laughs> I'm gonna let myself down. See how I have more range of motion now? And I'm kind of more not up and down vertical, I'm more horizontal. I'm gonna row myself up, pinch those shoulder blades down and back, and row back. Come up, and she'll show the blades down and back, row back. You can also make this more challenging by again doing that one arm row. I'm gonna open up, row back. Open up, row back. This will also work that grip strength, especially holding onto a ratchet strap doing this. Can't forget about the back side of your body. I'm gonna lay down on this floor. Hopefully you guys watch these exercises and do them so I'm not just getting dirty for no reason. You guys better be doing these exercises because I'm laying on a dirty ground with hot pink shorts. <laughs> and yeah, lying on the ground, sitting on the ground, lying back, trying not to freak out because it's really dirty. And I do not work over the road. I work in a gym that is usually kept clean. So I'm gonna work the back side of my legs. I'm gonna use my step. Again, common sense with this. Make sure you're not parked by any other trucks. You do not need to get ran over because of exercise. I'm gonna start with both feet on the step. I'm a little close here. Your head should be relaxed down. I'm gonna have both feet on the step of the truck. I'm gonna drive my hips up, squeeze my butt, count one, two, three, and I'm gonna lower. This is gonna work the back of your legs and your glutes. You are not working your quads. The reason why is because I'm not flexed like this. So if you go like this and you drive your hips up, yes. You are gonna work more quads. Because I have more of a straight leg, I still have a slight bend in my knee, by the way, but because my legs are more straight, I am working 100% hamstring here and glutes. So press that back in, drive up. You shouldn't be able to drive up as high as what a hip thrust would be, and then come back down. Drive your hips up, squeeze your butt, back down. If this is easy, you can hold one, two, three, and then lower. Drive up, hold one, two, three, and lower. Okay, and then say I wanna do it even more challenging than just this. I'm gonna push just one heel in. I'm gonna keep this one elevated off the ground, or off the step. I'm gonna drive up, one, two. Your hips, when you do this, are not rotating. So back is pressed in. Drive up, one, two, and I'm gonna lower. Drive up, one, two, and lower. Drive up, one, two and lower and I can feel those hamstrings burning okay when you start initially I would start with five to ten per side when you do this okay the other way you can do this is using your ratchet straps so I'm going to tie these up here I'm going to make sure I'm looped through so they're sturdy enough or the one strap is okay so I have this looped all the way around and through just trying to make them even so this is looped all the way through this locks them in again make sure there are no tears in your straps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna tie a knot here and hope to God I can get it back off. So make sure your knot is tied pretty tight here. You wanna make sure that it's pretty good length and you can always make it more even if you need to. This is about pretty good height. So I'm lying down, I have a strap hooked up. I'm gonna put my heels inside this strap, okay? Probably could have gone a little bit more um, as far as the height with it. That's okay, I'll make it work. Oh God. Hopefully you guys got a long towel or something and not a shirt to use for this, but you're gonna drive your hips up, curl, extend, lower. It is really hard with this step in here, but like I said, that grab handle should come away from your steps just slightly, a little bit more than this. Okay, so these steps are actually in the way. But the other way I could do this is I could go off the back side here and angle it that way and I should have had a little bit more slack in it, but I'm gonna drive my hips up, curl, extend, and lower. Okay, I'm gonna bring my feet wider, drive up, curl. The other exercise, I angled up from the steps here so they don't mess up the exercise, but back is pressed in, heads relaxed down, you're gonna drive your hips up, which you can't drive very high up. You're gonna curl them in and back out, lower the hips. Drive your hips up, 
curl, extend, lower. And I'm gonna shorten this up just slightly. The ratchet strap is a little bit shorter now. So now I should have more room to be able to just my heel or the backs of my shoe are literally going to be on this strap, okay? I'm gonna trust it, drive my hips up, curl, extend, lower. Make sure you're not as tied tight. Drive up, curl, extend, lower. For the upper body, it's gonna be an upper body push. I'm gonna use the steps of the semi, walk my feet out. I'm gonna bring my chest to the steps. <laughs> Make sure you're not on a slippery surface so you face plant and knock yourself out. Tailbone's tucked under. I'm gonna come down, push up. Your steps should come away from your semi a little bit farther if you're a long haul truck driver. Come down to it, press up. Or you can come back here where you do have more room and use the trailer, walk your feet out, come down to it, press up. Come down to it, press up. If this is not challenging enough, you can do a push up just on the ground. Or push ups are too easy for you guys. Hands on your towel or shirt, whatever. And you're gonna do an elevated push up. This is harder than a regular push up. Okay, your feet are elevated. You're gonna come down, press up. So that exercise that I just did, that elevated push up, you're gonna feel your shoulders, you're gonna feel your pecs across your chest, and that's mainly it. The other exercise you can do is a push up with your strap. I'm inside the straps, pushing out. You could use two straps, one connected here and another connected here, or you can do both of them on here, which is gonna create more instability, which is in turn gonna make it harder, okay? Or you can do a one arm chest press. So I'm gonna let myself down and I'm gonna press up. Let, trust myself, let myself down and push up. Like I said, the floor is really slippery here. It has grain all over it. You're gonna use your arm here. Feet are gonna be walked back and then you're gonna press, okay? The other hand can go across here if you want. That is a one arm chest press. The other way you can do this is you can use your hands together on this strap. Make sure you're not gonna hit yourself in the head with anything. My elbows are gonna be up. I'm gonna let myself down and I'm gonna press up. So I'm gonna do a tricep push. And like I said, the floor has grain all over it, so I can't get very far range of motion, but you will feel this in your triceps right here. Back side of your arm. Let yourself down, exhale, press. Let yourself down, exhale, press, okay? Uh, one final exercise that you could try for your core. I'm gonna use this shirt one more time, and I'm gonna attempt using these straps again. I have enough coordination to get in these. I'm gonna put just my ankles in them for now, but what you're gonna do is plank. I'm gonna pull my knees up and back. And I'm gonna go a little bit closer to it here. So plank position, pull my knees up and back, up and back. Or I can elevate my butt. This is harder yet, this is a pike, but with ratchet straps. And you guys are tough. You don't need padding for this, but you could wrap your shirt around the ratchet straps so they're not digging into your ankles so much. This is gonna be more advanced than just bringing your knees up towards your chest. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put my feet up on step here into a plank position. This, if this is challenging enough, I would just hold this position. Make sure when you do these exercises that a semi is not gonna pull in next to you either because they are not gonna see you with the trailer. Use common sense with these exercises, obviously. Um, a way to make this more challenging, you can alternate a pledge plank, hand to shoulder. So when I sit up, my wrists are under my shoulders and I'm breathing. Make sure you exhale every time you bring that hand towards that shoulder. Another way you can make it more challenging, you can do a star plank. Right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Bring it back in, bring it back out. Opposites move. So think of making a kind of like a star or an X. Going out and in. 